Hi you guys, my name is Sam Phillips and I am a television and a radio host here in Los Angeles, California. This is where I live. In a day I'm gonna be 45 years old. Yay, me! I'm very excited to let you know a little bit about myself. I am a former penthouse pet centerfold for June of 1993. I also was a reporter on a TV show called Sex Cetera for three years, which was on the Playboy Channel, still is. I hosted a nationally syndicated talk show called Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, um, with Dr. Drew Pinsky and a bunch of other notables, which was super fun. Currently, I am an executive producer, producer and host of my own television series and podcast. It's called The Single Life with Sam Phillips, because that's me. The TV show is in 33 million homes on a network called MAV TV Like a Maverick. It's 26 half-hour episodes, and it's celebrity-focused, so I have my celebrity friends come in the studio and we talk to them about their sex, dating, and relationships. The podcast is housed exclusively on an internet radio station that I co-own called Hot Talk LA. My background, um, long and short of it, I have a crazy story. My mother threw me out as a teen. I lived on the streets. I became a top model, went to Europe, traveled alone, did all this great stuff, came back to the States, had like a midlife crisis at, I think it was 21, and it was very accidental how I fell into giving advice. Um, when I was younger and I would do TV shows or movies or, you know, modeling, and I have an acting background, whatever, they would always pick one girl to do all of the promotion or publicity for the project. So then I started doing tons of radio. I've hosted and co-hosted 19 different shows on everything from relationships to cosmetic surgery to finances, all kinds of good stuff. And then I was given the great um, opportunity at one point 12 years ago to do my own radio show, giving advice. And I figured, well, what's my qualifications? I've only gone to ninth grade. Well, okay, so I have banged hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of guys in my day. And if I can tell you one thing, I can tell you what not to do. I have learned the hard way, and that's kind of my platform, is I've been through it all, I've done it all, and the bottom line is I can tell you what not to do, what is not gonna work. People live in shame and fear about their sex and the things that they secretly wish that they could do. We have such a bad taste in our mouths, no pun intended, about being free with our sexuality. I have a couple of famous mottos that I like to espouse. Explore your inner whore. Great advice. If I ever come across somebody that's repressed, conservative, oh girl, you haven't had enough sex. You need to get out there and experience some guys. Another thing that I like to, to give advice is bang as many guys as possible before you settle down because the way I look at it is men are a buffet table. It's just like a huge table of dudes, right? And there's platters, all kinds of dudes all over the place and you've got your plate and you're looking around, you take a little bit of this dude and a little bit of that platter, a little bit of that. You go back, you sit down at your table and you taste it all. Some of it you're not gonna like, some of it you'll never wanna taste again. And then there's others that you're gonna wanna go back and have seconds of. To briefly tell you guys about the range of clients that I have counseled over the years, I have to say at the radio station, our demo was men 18 to 54. So that's really where my expertise is. But interestingly, tons of women also listen to the radio and they love to call in. So I've kind of found in all of the different things that I've done, radio, television, writing, guesting on talk shows, that I have counseled and advised equal amounts, men and women, young, old, gay and straight. I kind of run the gamut on advice. What makes me good at my job? I gotta be honest, it's because I love it. I love it, I love people, I love, I love learning about them, I love helping them, I love being able to erase the pain in their lives, to be able to give them comfort, to be able to give them solutions, to be able to make a difference. A husband has just admitted his longtime foot fetish to his wife. They'd always had a good sex life up until this point. He's admitted the fetish, hoping that she'll be into the idea, but she feels this is a little out of her comfort zone, understandable. If I were on the radio, first thing I would say is, girl, 
what's your issue with your feet? Embrace your foot. You need to talk to people and find out their situation, which is one of the things I'm really good at is digging between the layers of what's said and what's really going on because sometimes we don't communicate very well what we really mean. In a fun-spirited way, I would say, what, lady, what's wrong with the foot fetish? You're gonna get a whole closet full of shoes out of the deal and a bunch of pedicures. That's not so bad. It's the single life. Hey everybody, this is Dr. Drew from uh, Celebrity Rehab and Loveline, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my dear friend, Sam Phillips. Um, Sam and I met in a program called, uh, it was called uh, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Sam is somebody that's been in my life ever since. I will never forget her, I swear to God, as long as I live. This is a woman that, um, well, let's just say she's had a lot of experience, I'm, I'm just saying. She is profoundly and abjectly honest. I'm almost disarmingly honest. She will come clean about anything about herself, and that is a great way to get other people to open up about their issues. She has a capacity for uh, a tender empathy that you just really don't see in talk shows today. I mean, she really goes to an emotional place with her subject matter and stays there with them and understands, she understands the human experience and she, she's not somebody hammering at people trying to trying to out them. She's there sort of sharing as one human to another who's sort of been through some stuff herself and understands it, has been giving advice for a long period of time, has heard everything, has seen everything and understands these things. Some of them very complex. You get somebody like Sam who has it really sort of on the level of the viewers and makes it easily digestible, but it's not superficial and it's not not, certainly it's not the sort of you got to change mentality that we have so much in, in media today. It's, it's more about opening up and sharing common experiences and getting to the, well, frankly, the, the, the humor that's underneath uh, poignant human experiences that uh, oftentimes uh, nothing's funnier than what people do. So why do I love Sam Phillips? I mean, you only have to do is watch this for a few minutes, but it's, it's honesty, empathy, experience, and, and an energy that uh, really is second to none. And after all these years, I thought she might have toned it down a bit, but n n I mean, I'm just saying, d n no, no, not, not, not at all. In spite of the fact that she is a pro, she makes it look easy, she makes it look comfortable, and she makes it look like anybody could do it, but uh, trust me, no one can, except her. <laughs>